Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll continue talking about approvals. In my last demonstration, I set up a new document library called Procedures, and there I enabled approvals. Now I'm going to go in again into the library settings and enable the minor and major versions. So I'll go into version and settings here and enable create major and minor draft versions. I'll click OK. And then I'm going to create a new procedure. It's going to be another Word document. And this document is going to explain how my sales procedure is going to happen. So I'm going to just going to name this document sales. This is the sales procedure. Very polite procedure for doing sales in our company. And as you see now, this document is, of course, not approved yet. It's a draft version. I'm also going to go in and edit the view so that I can see the versioning number of this. So as you see, this document now should have a 0 0.2. Yes, there's a 0 0.2. The first one was when I created the document and then the next time when I saved it. So now if I go into the little drop down here and check more, you know, notice that there is no approve reject. The only available option is to publish. So if I publish that now, it's going to be version one. Ready? Let's refresh this. Now it's still version 0 0.2. And the reason for it being 0 0.2 is that the publication has yet to be approved. So now, I can go in and approve. And of course, now I'm approving it myself, but somebody else could have the permission to approve, reject also. So I'm gonna approve this now and set it to approved. And then we're gonna see it changing to version 1.0. And now it's gonna also be visible for Antonio here, which does not have the permissions to see non-approved items. All right, so this demonstration again shows you the uh, setting for minor and major versions in a library. We're still doing uh, demonstrations about approvals without workflow here, but I wanna go through those first before you go into doing approvals with workflows. Thank you for watching this demonstration.